Well, if there is, maybe he'll let you do the computer, the calculator. Safety. No, I don't think we'll be doing any math. It's because we're looking at different kinds of programs now. If it was like an engineering program you were thinking about, we I, I do have a little math thing, and we'd probably not use calculators to see how you do with that, but. When you're talking about animals and, the, and yeah, the vet tech is what you know. We're kind of like and that, there would be some core math in that, but it would be similar to what you did in high school. So I'm not really. Good. But if okay. you're something more math oriented, and again, it's what we're, the testing we do today. It's not a thing you need to stress about. You know, it's not study. It's just to get an idea of strengths and weaknesses. That's what I told her. And so what she like, likes, like yeah. So if we were doing something where you were like thinking about doing engineering or math focus then maybe we get an idea because then if the levels are really low you might say okay well this is kind of something we need to maybe focus on or you might need to go to some remedial classes first but you know if, if you passed high school and you took your core classes probably vet tech you're not going to be doing the math too far beyond that so um or, or you know whatever program and we'll, we'll get more into that uh, but no short answer no no math so no problems I swear, a few days ago, she said something about astrology. <laughs> I'm not even There won't kidding. be astrology, astronomy, or nothing with the stars will be done. That's my older uh, Unless daughter. you want to talk about it. But no. or either that or it was astronomy, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, just, so, just so you know, what we'll do today is we'll do a cognitive ability test, some achievement tests, but it'll be more language focused. So you'll do a little reading and sentence comprehension. I think that's more appropriate for what we're talking about with a more general entry. Like if, there's, if there's issues with that, then sometimes that can be something we want to look at before a post-secondary. You know, there might need to be some remedial stuff done or there might be some questions there. And then we'll do an interest inventory, which will be all about what your interests are. And then uh, we'll probably do what's called a barriers to success inventory. So just to get an idea of where you think you might have some nerves with getting out there, whether it's post-secondary or starting work. Uh, and, but those two will be all about your thoughts. So there's no right or wrong with that. Um, and that'll be what we do today. Um, so if you have some concerns or questions or anything, we'll, we'll, do, we'll go through all that. It's nothing to stress about. I just want to get an idea of where you're at with some of this stuff. Okay? Right. And so speaking of, let's just start out. Um, why am I here? Who am I? Why are you going to be answering all these questions with me? So short answer is I am doing a comprehensive vocational evaluation. And like I said, part of that is just getting an idea of some strengths and weaknesses. The first part, we'll just kind of talk a little bit about um, some background information, uh, education, um, and we'll talk about uh, interests and things like that. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll do a little testing and then we'll be all done. Um, why am I even running? Uh, I have a similar background to, to Ms. Burdett, to Brittany. Um, we actually used to work together, uh, so I'm here in this office. Uh, I was a counselor here. But I also have some specialized test, uh, training in testing. I, I'm a certified vocational evaluation specialist. So, um, but I also have the same uh, degree she has and the same um, designation as certified rehab counselor. Uh, so it's a similar background, but I've just been asked to kind of take a look at things. Like I said, uh, strengths and weaknesses. I'll put a report together. That'll go to Brittany and uh, you guys will look over that. And that's just a tool to help you in planning. I don't come down from on high and say, this is what you will do. Or, this right, is right. I'm just that's trying to, to help her. facilitate, uh, you know, moving forward. Sometimes when folks, you know, get a little stuck or aren't sure or uh, have some questions about things, um, I'm, I hopefully can be helpful in that. Uh, and so um, that's what this is designed to be. It's not designed to trick anybody or to, to you know, do anything like that. Um, and then I'm not your Brittany will continue to be your counselor. I'm not involved with the case uh, past that point. Now we'll give you my card. If you have questions specific to the report, I'm happy to answer um, those and, uh, and and around that. But as, as far as beyond that, Brittany will continue to be the person who uh, who makes the decisions with you. But all decisions are your yours and Brittany's. So you guys together will make the plan and, and decide about next steps. I'm just kind of been asked to 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 give my two cents based on the things we do here today. Um, confidentiality, there are some limits. I don't share information with anybody besides Brittany, but obviously I'm contracted with the state uh, to do this report and that does go to her. Um, but, but I don't share information with anybody besides her. Um, and I'm sure you've heard this before, but just briefly, I am a mandatory reporter, so talk about hurting yourself or someone else or child abuse, elder abuse, anything like that. Um, do you yeah, have guns at home? Um, no. <laughs> um, not the, yeah, that's, but then, then about hurting anyone, I have to talk, uh, I have to report that. Otherwise, no information to share with anybody except Brittany. And uh, your records, I do keep GBRA cases generally for four years, same as a medical office, have a double lock and key. Um, 
and so, but I do keep those records. And fees, uh, I'm gonna need you guys to cut me a check now. No, I'm just kidding. You didn't, <laughs> man, there's no assessment, uh, fees for assessment, even if you do have a cost sharing agreement, which some people do have a cost share based on their income with VR, but um, even if you are on a cost share, there's no fees for assessment services. So I do get paid, but rarely pays that bill. So uh, any questions about any of that, Caitlin? Okay. If you don't mind, yeah, you can take as much time as you need to read over that if you want. Um, but if you can see where it says client signature there, uh, and, and that just says, well, you're okay with moving forward with the about today, and then we discuss those things. It's about time. I wish they would have done this a long time ago. We were waiting to hear from, I don't know if I told you from. Uh, I know you said it's been a minute. We went to Care Springs. Oh my God, I love that place. But so you got you guys at Cave Springs? Well, we went there and did a tour. Oh yeah. But yeah. it was you know COVID. That's a long way. That's always been that way. But see, so they've few. changed everything. Yeah, there's so few spots there. Um, we were gonna put her there because my most uh, important thing for her is you know after I got this cancer thing and everything and I got sick is her getting more independent. Um, and they had like driver's ed there for kids that have you know autism and. Um, you know, uh, other classes or other things that were just wonderful. Like they had a class for uh, checkbook and um, ATM, you know, and they, they taught them how to do all that, which is really good. Yeah. We have that in school. I'm not going to hate it, but whatever. And then um, they have a setup there. I don't know if you've ever been there, but they. I've been to Warm Springs. I haven't been yeah, to Cape, Cape Springs. Cape Springs has a, um, like a restaurant type setup and they teach the kids <laughs> they teach the kids like um even if they're not gonna be in the you know food business or whatever but they they have them go through it so that they can learn how to deal with um bad customers like they'll co go in and and give them a bad time and you know teach them how to deal with people that are kind of they might fry they're called or what you know whatever but yeah but they they stopped some of the programs and they stopped the driver's ed and that was one of the main things we were going to go for so that you know but i figure i'll find a, a program out there somewhere that will and i don't know if it's like i think lynn retired but i know uh, at easter Shields they used to have uh, a, a group with uh specific to autism and they would do it was like a, a support group and they would do some of those kind of yeah uh, that's what uh, Brittany had said yeah so that she might was be gonna, something to she was going to check into it too. I, mean, I know they didn't do the, the actual driving part but they I guess they did the class like you know taught them that and she and she needs that um I keep telling myself to buy a driver's ed book but one thing at a time yeah for sure um I just didn't want to spend this entire break, this so-called break, like studying the whole time. Yeah. She was just trying to give me a break before I went into this thing. Okay. Well, it's been a good break. Yeah, so you graduated May. Last, May. last May in 2022 or 21? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Where did you go to school? Lakeside. Okay. All right, that's where my kids are. Yeah. Well, maybe one day. They're pretty, they're getting... Uh, they're getting closer. We moved down from Cali, and there she was ahead 7.5 credits, and we got here, and she was behind five. That's so weird how that works. Of all the places you think California would be, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. But, uh, so she had to take an extra math class to catch up. Um, and it was just, it was like, oh, my God, it was horrendous. But we did it, you know, and then she ended up graduating with, um, I think it was a high B, 90-something. Still, that was the kind. Of, that was the reason that I kind of regretted coming out here. Didn't like Lakeside. No, at, not at all. Okay. But everything was closed in California. They're so stupid. Well, they, online online learning was easier, in my opinion. Yeah, though. but these kids don't need online or learning. They need to be yeah. in a social. I yeah, I think there's arguments. So my wife actually teaches online and did before way before she's been doing it for like almost ten years now. Um, she's a high school teacher teaching at the uh, Cyber Academy um, here in Georgia. Uh, so. And that's good for kids that are um, I don't know that are social and stuff. But kids like 
Well, it should stay in her room. I mean, I heard ever say as, as somebody who's introverted, I disagree with all that. Well, that's yeah, why yeah. you need it because eventually you're going to have to get out into society. If you get a job, you go to school, sure. you have to interact with people. And if you do, if you're on a computer doing testing and stuff, you're not really, you know, lack some of the social aspect, but. Some folks get a little heavily these times. So I, it, there's definitely uh, arguments on both sides. It actually started, Georgia was one of the first to have a, a full-time online high school because of a lot of the child actors. In, uh, and they had, um, I think it was gymnastics uh, in Atlanta. They yeah. had a facility there, so they were either, you know, working basically or, you know, uh, in, in working out uh, so much that they would take their classes online. So, yeah. Well, I almost did that with her um, at one point because she was doing a performing arts, she went to a performing arts high school. Oh, cool. And uh, then uh, it was like in California, it is so biased because. There are students there that are children of actors and mm -hmm. um, musicians, and so we don't know who they are, but the teachers know who they are, and they get, um, because the parents are giving so much money to the school, mm -hmm. <laughs> they get, you know, prior everything. So it became apparent that they really didn't have any idea what autism you know they had they said they did for the money but they weren't really dealing with her um at all okay so i moved her into a school that was freaking awesome but then i i, I hated it because it, it was sports related wow yeah i was and i went there so that really didn't help so we all i mean with actors music you in southern california or where were you okay simi valley right in the middle like uh, I could go to I could be in Malibu in mm, 25 minutes so I could be but I like to go to Ventura because Ventura is like more mellow <laughs> there's not as many you know it's not the you know movie stars and the big <sighs> people who think they're it's just surfers and I was, dolphins and seals I was just out there in November for a wedding in yeah. Long Beach. I'd never been Ooh. to Long Beach. So I was a little we, we spent the night on uh, Queen Mary. Actually, I do have one question about this. So, mm -hmm. like, if since we have like animal programs, do you any do anything that's marine biology related? Like, if I wanted to go to college and become a marine biologist or something, because that's another thing I wanted to do. Sure. Uh, so I don't do any. I don't, I I just do the evaluation. But um, I, I can certainly look into what programs might be out there. You know, I think AU. That's a the the college here at Augusta University, or uh, they keep changing the name of it. Um, they I think they still I think they have a marine biology program or at least a biology program that would go into something like that. But you know uh, those tend to be along the coast. I know College of Charleston has one. That's what was sad because yeah. you know that we did have all that stuff out there, mm -hmm. but <laughs> because of COVID, everything was you know yeah shut down. A lot, a lot of stuff shut down. They also have really good autism programs, um, which we did go to Florida and toured a um, place there. And they're all over there in California. They're in, I don't think they're here, though. They're in different states. But And then they wanted to, it, she was going to be there for two weeks. And it was like a, um, like, like a dorm like situation, the call East uh, Florida was across the street and students would learn in their, you know, they live in the, these houses and, or the dorms or whatever. But then they, they take they, classes. Then and, they changed it up and put wanted to put us in hotel rooms. Like, for two weeks. And I said... Mm -hmm. In the same room, too. Well, they, these kids are from all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, you don't know their sexual orientation. Um, and most of them 